Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy has achieved a significant milestone in enhancing its anti-air warfare capability with the medium range surface to air missile MRSAM. Today, the Navy has successfully tested the MRSAM missile from destroyer INS Vishakhapatnam validating the capability to engage anti-ship missiles. Now, talking about MRSAM, as we know, it is an Indo-Israeli joint venture to develop surface-to-air missile system designed to defend against any type of airborne threat. More than 70% of the content in this missile being developed with Israel is indigenous. The propulsion system of the missile coupled with thrust vector control system allows the missile to move at a maximum speed of Mach 2. The weapon has ability to engage multiple targets simultaneously at ranges of 70 km. MRSAM is equipped with advanced active radar radio frequency seeker, advanced rotating phased array radar and a bi-directional data link. The RF seeker located in the front section of the missile is used to detect moving targets in all weather condition. The phased array radar provides a high quality air situation picture while the bi-directional data link is used for relaying mid-course guidance and target information to the missile. The missile's explosive warhead features a self-destruct fuse which provides high probability of kill against enemy targets with minimal collateral damage. The Army version of MRSAM has command post for command control and engagement planning of the missile in multi-threat scenario. It is mounted on a 8x8 high mobility vehicle as you can see on your screen. Its role is to protect the ground troops, especially armored units, from enemies' ground attack aircraft. This is the reason why they have been mounted on a high mobility vehicle to keep up with the tank columns moving across the country. Now, if we talk about Indian Air Force MRSAM, the command and control post is called Combat Management System for Engagement Planning Control in Multi-Threat Scenario, mounted on a trailer rather than high mobility vehicle as you can see on the screen. It is fired from open to the approaching enemy fighters and other aerial targets. The Army version looks more compact, mobile and difficult to distinguish it from other similar vehicles. Apart from command and control post, there is not much difference between both the version. Both of them have network-centric architecture, secure radio and fiber optic links with launchers, two-way data link and radio network planning tool for deployment planning. The naval version of MRSAM is stored and fired from a sealed canister below the warship deck. This is done to protect the missile from corrosion under marine environment. It primarily protects the warship from anti-ship and sea skimming missiles and also engage the approaching enemy fighters. The missile would be installed aboard seven warships of Indian Navy including Vishakha Patnam class guided missile destroyer, Kolkata class destroyer, Kamota class anti-submarine warfare corvettes and a future Project 17A class of stealth frigates. It will also be installed aboard the INS Vikrant, India's first indigenously built aircraft carrier. Three of the Indian naval warships are already fitted with MRSAM system, which includes Kolkata class destroyer, Vishakhapatnam class destroyer, and INS Vikramaditya. Each can carry 32 missiles in their vertical launch unit canisters. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.